I'm Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work and are backed by science. From my earliest bodybuilding days, I believed in only putting the best in my body. And that lives on in the Species Nutrition line of products. We use only top-of-the-line formulations dosed for maximum results and the best flavoring systems available. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle update. <laughs> I don't know if this is an update or a rant or an exclusive. A lot of people have asked me, you know, I put up some pictures recently. I found a file cabinet of, of, of myself at 315 pounds in the off season. A lot of people think it's, I'm pre-contest in these pictures because I'm so lean. But that was, you know, that was my, my gig. I walked around over 300 pounds, very, very lean with abs and glutes and, and everything like that. Yeah, I was a little, you know, I, I wouldn't call it stage ready. It certainly wasn't a stage ready look, but it was, a, it was a really good gym look. You know, people were impressed, obviously, when I went into the gym. I was lifting heavy weights looking like that. And, you know, when I look back at those pictures, I'm like almost like amazed that that was really, the, I'm the, it was the same human being that I am. Because it was so long ago now, it was, it was 25 years ago, that I, I almost feel like, a, like, like maybe that was like a different life that I was in or something like that. But the truth is that, you know, the structure that I have in my life and the way I always, you know, envisioned what I wanted to achieve has not changed. So while I wanted to be, you know, when I, before I became a bodybuilder, I, I was a runner. I was a long distance runner. And I wanted to be the, I wanted to be, I wanted to look like a runner. I didn't look like a runner. I looked like a rock climber. I had like, like a big upper body and I had like my legs. I didn't really train my legs. I only ran. So my legs were, were good, but they weren't huge. But they, you know, they kind of, they did touch them in the middle because I had big adductors. And so I really wasn't a good runner because I didn't have the runner's body. So I starved myself down to, to a runner's physique and I changed the way I looked. And so then when I got into, when I got kind of bit by the bodybuilding bug, I said, well, I want to look like a bodybuilder now. And so I had to restructure my whole body. So I went from a 140 pound runner to a 300 and what, 15 pound bodybuilder in the course of, you know, probably five or six years. And that, that's, that's a huge change, you know, to do. But that was what my single-minded intent was. That was my vision of myself. My greatest vision of myself was to be a 300-pound bodybuilder, although I didn't know what the number would be. I just wanted to be big. And, you know, and then after that, and after I decided, okay, I'm not going to compete anymore, now, then I wanted to be, you know, just look good, you know. And then after that, I wanted to just, I wanted to be smaller because I realized, you know, when I hit 50, I don't need to be this big. I want my blood pressure and all my you know, health markers to be normal because I wanted to live a long time because now I have kids. So, and I restructured my body again and now I'm 185, 190 pounds and, I, and I'm lean and, uh, you know, I still am the same body. I'm just, I have, <laughs> I just have 100 pounds less muscle. So, you have to be willing to uh, set a thought in your head as to what you want to look like and achieve it. So, a lot of people said, hey, you know, how'd you get so big? And, the truth was I was eating an enormous amount of food and, and, and training ridiculously heavy, but with good form. So I didn't start out training ridiculously heavy. It wasn't like I was 190 pounds and I said, all right, I'm gonna, I want to be 315. I'm going to start trying to squat 600 pounds. No, I, I couldn't even, I, I wasn't that strong. I progressively got stronger as I progressively got bigger. And I got progressively bigger because I was stimulating the muscle in the gym and I was feeding myself enormous amounts of protein, okay, very regularly, never missing meals, never missing workouts, never missing sleep or naps or whatever I felt was necessary to replenish my body so that it can continue to improve on a regular basis. When I would diet for shows, I was extremely rigid and extremely structured. But when, when, the, when the, the rigidity and the structure was removed because the show was over, I ate, you know, and I didn't miss meals. And I didn't, and I, look, I didn't always want to eat because sometimes when you're that big and you know, you're eating, you know, eight, 10 times a day, the meals are not that comfortable anymore. You don't feel hungry. I was just pouring shakes down my throat because I knew that if I missed one meal, that would set me back a whole week. And that's the only way you can get that big. You have to have a single-minded focus on, hey, this is what I got to do to achieve it. And if I make excuses why I can't eat the food or why I can't get the workouts in or why I'm not resting enough, because then, then you know what? The only person I have to blame is myself. People say, well, I got a family, I got a job. 
Tough shit. They don't care what the judges don't care what you look like when you're on stage. They don't want to know what you went through to get there. They only want to see the final pro- the product. So if you want to be the best at something and you want to achieve something great, you know, and make your body the best that it can be, because I can only make my body what it, what it was capable of being. I can't make my body into Ronnie Coleman because I'm not Ronnie Coleman. But I made it into the best Dave Palumbo that I could make it into by relentless pursuit of a single-minded goal that I set for myself. And there was nothing that was going to stop me, whether it be vacations or holidays or people's funerals. I found a way to get my meals in, I found a way to get to the gym, and I found a way to get enough rest so that I can recover from my workouts. And obviously all the vitamins and supplements and, and, and gear and stuff that goes along with that was also another scientific aspect of it, making sure I did everything right. And a lot of the stuff I pioneered because no one had ever done it before. But that, that's only a very small part of it. The hard part is not taking the drugs. The hard part is eating the food day after day after day, getting those workouts in, making sure you get your therapies, your massages, and your ART so that your body can function and perform at maximum effort every time you go into the gym. And when you can't perform at maximum effort, you have to be ready and and knowledgeable enough to take a step back and rest for a day if you need it. And I probably wasn't as good at resting as I probably should have. I probably could have taken a few more rest days. But I think toward... Once I really hit my stride, I realized that overtraining was a huge, huge problem, especially for me because I overtrained really easily. So I, w- I was abs- those two days I took off a week were like church days for me. It was like a sanctuary. I stayed out of the gym. I did not go to the gym on those two days a week when, because I did not want to sneak extra workouts in and do stuff like that just because I thought I was being neurotic and I needed to train more. I rested two days a week, every single week week after week, month after month, year after year. And you have to put together a strategy and and a plan and follow it. And if you do, I promise you, you will achieve the best you that you can achieve. And anything's achievable. You wanna be a 300 pound bodybuilder? You can do it if, if you want it bad enough. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle exclusive.